of sport and it's the fourth round of the FA Cup this weekend. Chris Legg is here. Uh, Chris, one tie in particular really stands uh, stand out. It does it? indeed. Brentford against Chelsea. West London neighbours poles apart when it comes to success. Brentford doing well in League One, but Chelsea, of course, the FA Cup holders, champions of Europe. But not the best preparation for them this week. The midfielder Eden Hazard today charged with the FA uh, for violent conduct. His ban could be extended. Can Brentford now add to Chelsea's week of woe? This wasn't Brentford calling in the ball boy and ball girl reinforcements. But at Griffin Park today, plenty to do as the famous old ground prepares to stage one of the biggest games in its history. First full house at uh, Griffin Park for a number of years. Um, there's plenty of tired staff though. It's, it's taken a tremendous effort by uh, by many people to get to the sellout stage and a lot of patience on the part of the uh, the fans. Sometimes for three or four hours in a queue in, in freezing conditions. My ticket's in the post. It hasn't arrived yet. If it doesn't arrive, I've got to uh, return to the ground at nine o'clock on Sunday morning. Fantastic. Uh, I think Chelsea would be out of their comfort zone. It could be a bit of a sting in the tail. On Sunday afternoon, Brentford's players will come down this tunnel alongside a Chelsea side, most of whom earn more in a week than they do in a year. But by the time they take to the Griffin Park pitch, this competition is a great leveller. In the FA Cup, any underdog can have its day. You can imagine the vibe at the moment around the training ground is, is very, very different to what it's been before. A lot of excitement. Uh, and yeah, we can't wait. You know, we're very aware of of their trials and tribulations at the moment and who knows, on any given day anything can happen. Chelsea have already had one cup shock this week, the sight of their £32 million midfielder Eden Hazard kicking out at a ball boy. Already banned for three games, it could now get worse for him after the FA today charged him with violent conduct. Have the Brentford ball boys been getting any extra coaching? Yeah, we've uh, we've got them on the weights this week. Um, they've been doing doing some strength work, so I think they're they're ready. Um, a bit of boxing training as well, so no, they're they're good to go. They've waited 60 years to meet their more illustrious neighbours. Now Brentford hope it's their chance to shine. So much excitement down at Griffin Park, and there is live commentary of that match on BBC London DAB kickoff at noon on Sunday.